another thing. For those who are who don't believe in the Lord, all wale faith is shaky shaky. I know of a of a friend. Ambaye bwanake alikufa. Bwanake huyu akikufa. It is just up and Dora. Bwanake akikufa alikuwa anafanya kazi hapa ngara. Unaona pale ngara wanauzanga eh, viti. He was a carpenter there. Then one of musician wa Kenya ni mkubwa sana na anko ya huyu kijana waka wa, 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 wakaenda wakamuongelesha the uncle ndiye introduce huyu singa kwake na wakamwambia watamkopesha watamko pesa watampeleka biashara atacheti maisha yake and the guy akakubali so ye yeah, after kukubali akaperekwa akapewa 50000 akaperekwa Mombasa wakaanza kuleta by that time mi nilikuwa glogon hoka nauza mashati hapo hata mm. sahi niko na kiwanja hapo that is where i started life so this guy wakaanza kuletanga spare parts hapo glogon mm. wakafanya 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 for some time people started appearing to him wakiwa wamevaa black mazee sasa huyu kijana ashapata pesa wameza ta, Tanzania wameleta magari wana, wanaenda wanaleta magari wanakuja huku zinakatakato wanauza maspia pat mm. sasa wakati ameingiza pesa vizuri amenunua maplot amepeleka bibi amemuonyesha the guy alianza kutokewa na watu we need our money Mm. Akawaliza pesa gani? Na remember this guy and the wife ni watu wa church. Mm. Ni watu wa church. In fact, the guy alikuwa mzee wa kanisa. Mm. Mm. <laughs> My friend, wachana na hizi kanisa. So, akaenda aka, aka, akawauliza pesa gani? Akauliza pesa yenye uliletewa na fulani na fulani 50000 zilikuwa zetu na sisi tunazitaka. Akawaambia mimi I paid them. Akamwambia we don't need money. We don't exchange our money with the money. Our money we exchange with the blood. Na ni watu wameingia kwa nyumba hawajafungua mlango amestukia watu wako, wamevaa ma black mahudi wameingia kwa nyumba watatu I'm telling you a true story We don't exchange money with money we exchange money with blood money with money. Yes. That is what they told him Akamwambia now we want your son kwa sababu kijana ndiye alikuwa mkubwa. Oh my god. Na yeye akawaambia listen, mimi nikipewa hizo pesa na anko hawakunipea any condition. Na furthermore the money they gave me I paid back. Paid back. So there is nothing, hakuna kitu yangu mtachukua, hakuna mtoto wangu mtaguza na hakuna bibi yangu mtaguza. If anything mimi ndio nilikubali kuonyeshwa biashara familia yangu hakuna penye inaingilia hapa munichukue mimi akawakamwambia sisi hatuna haja na wewe tunataka dam dam moto ya mtoto the son yes wali subwana because ni watu wanakuja wanaongea kidogo wanaenda wanaongea kidogo wanaenda hivyo one day bibi alitoka akaenda kanisa na watoto hapa tu dadora akaenda kanisa na watoto wa, unakumbuka wakati wa wa corona yeah. wakati huo polisi si si ni ni si hawa mawatimon polisi ndio walikuwa wanasimama kwa gate mm. na kuambia muto, mama aliingia na watoto wake na watoto wakaenda Sunday school, mama akaenda mini church. Lakini kitu ikamshika tu. Ikamwambia ai mto uh, yani sijui ni nini ilimshika ikaanza ika tu kumsumbua. Vile mahubiri tu ilianza hivi akatoka nje akaenda Sunday school. Mm. Akaangalia watoto. Ule mkubwa hayuko. 
Akauliza huyu mkubwa wako wapi? M si amekuwa alikuwa amekaa hapa na wenzake. Mm. Kila mtu hata watoto wenyewe hawajui huyo mtoto alitokaje. Wanaenda kwa gate. Gate mm. wanaambiwa hakuna mtoto ametoka hapa na sisi hatuwezi kubali mtoto atoke bila mzazi. Mm, 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 mm. Yani it was chaos mpaka service ilisimama wakaambiwa na wakashikana mkono wakaomba wakaambiwa nao kwa sababu hapa barabara ni mbili wengine waende this side wengine waende this side huyo mtoto lazima tumtafute tumpate na tujue alitokaje chacha my friend wakati walitoka hivyo those group ku, ku, kuwatanisha walipata mtoto amepagawa Uko karibu na 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 iku, penye wanatupanga takataka dump site Jesus wa ako uko kwa dump site hana nguo ako vile alizaliwa uchi ya mnyama na amepagawa Mm. Wa mama sasa wanye walikuwa na leso wakamfunika wakapigania masimu watu warudi chachi mtoto amepatikana akabebwa akapelekwa kwa, kwa kanisa. The wife alikuwa ana shake. Ana yeah. ni kama mwenye anataka kutokwa na wazimu. Absolutely. So akapigia bwanake simu. At this point that is when she called the husband. After calling the husband, the husband akajua, "Oh, this is what these people wanted." Mm, Immediately, akapigia aka anko yake simu, akamwambia, listen anko, mimi nililipa denyenu, mm. na those people wenye wameaza kunisumbua na wanataka kuchukua mtoto wangu, saizi nimesikia mtoto ametolewa kwa chachi na ajulikani vile ametoka kwa chachi, amepatu wa dambu site. this thing I will go on air. Wewe na huyo muimbaji nitawatangaza Kenya yote. Kwa sababu nini? Kwa sababu the muimbaji msomani Kenya mtu anajulikana. Yes, ni mtu anajulikana muimbaji mkubwa sana hapa Kenya wa gospel music. Hmm? Akamwambia if mkijaribu hivi I will scream. Mimi niliwaambia ya kwamba watu wangu msiguze bibi yangu msiguze watoto wangu alikuwa na watoto ine. nichukue ni mimi because you trapped me into this mliniambia ni pesa ni pesa mnanikopesha ya biashara you trapped me in this na don't forget don't forget this uncle na huyu muimbaji bado ni mapasta Haya. <laughs> Horera. Now. Now. Na kenya to mai. Eh. Now ika 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 poa. Kupoa poa tena wakakuja another time to strike. Wakati wali ali, wali kuja ku strike that night akaambia bibi yake but when he was telling the wife wakiwa wamelala all of a sudden the wife akaenda unconscious so bibi hata hakusikia chochote they had died up to the hospital so to la, to short to cut the story short huyu jamaa aliingia kwa nyumba kutoka job akakuja akakaa kwa kiti akaanza kusema anaumwa na kichwa bibi akamwambia wacha nikukimbilie panado akakimbia akakuja na panado kufika kwa nyumba jamaa ameenda true story nelson watu wakatengeneza mazishi wakaenda muranga tukaenda tukazika alikuwa amejenga nyumba hapo then wakati everybody ameenda kaburi siko pale mm. jamaa alikuwa anatoka kwa kaburi vizuri ikifika six anakuja anaingia kwa nyumba anakaa kwa kiti 
wanapiga story na bibi bibi anapika watoto wanakula wana... baba amekaa hapo anaanza kumuelezea what happened anaanza kumuelezea what happened vile ilianza vile alipewa pesa ya kazi then anaenda The following day anatoka kwa kaburi vizuri anakuja anakaa hapo chini wanapiga story Bibi anapika wanakula anaenda The third day Now the fourth day akasema ai na si huyu mtu alikufa Anakujanga aje kila siku kila siku si alikufa You know wakati umefiriwa na watu wameenda hapo ndio unaanzanga kuamini ya kwamba that person ameenda But now this person is coming back and entertaining you Now mm. to me the mistake she did hakuambia ene mtu yoyote mwenye wanaweza omba na yeye And mm. because she trusted the uncle And that gospel singer awa ndiye alipigia simu. Akawaambia what is happening. Wakamwambia ni sawa kesho tuta, tutaenda Tanzania tutapigia ule mubishop wetu wa Tanzania yeye ndiye atakuja kutuliza hiyo spirit yake. And true to their word wakamwambia Saturday tunakuja na bishop wa Tanzania. Mm. So the, 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 na, na akawambi, wakamwambia as invite anyone. Akuwe tu peke yake because hawakuji sherehe. Wanakuja tu kutoa sacrifice ndio spirit ya huyu jamaa itulie. The, that's Saturday wakapika akapika akafanya nini akafanya nini waka, wakakuja wakati walikuja si akawakaribisha walikuja na ati na magadi kubwa 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 za black the guys waliingia tu waka, hawakumsalimia na mkono akawaambia karibu at least wageni wakunywe chai wakasema hmm. hawawezi kula chochote kabla hawajotoa madhabahu yani hiyo those sacrifices those sacrifices yes that's right yeah so wakaenda wakaenda pale kwa kaburi yeah kaambiwa kwa hiyo sacrifice ya ku the, the spirit wanawake hawaendangi ni tu wanaume ni wanaume so ye yeah, alienda kuchungulia kwa dirisha You know? Kutungulia kwa dirisha akaona wamezunguka they were these two main guys ambao ni gospel singer na the uncle and then these three Tanzania guys sasa hata hajui bishop ni mugani pastor ni mugani mshirika ni mugani hajui lakini wameva all suits za black wakazunguka hiyo kaburi kuzunguka kwa kaburi sasa unajua ako kwa dirisha awezi sikia the maneno zenye wanaongea That's right. That's right. lakini anaona what they are doing so there is this one guy anasema aliingiza mkono kwa mfuko akatoa something like like unga ama ama jivu then akapuliza kwa kaburi na wakatoka walitoka wakiendanga hata hiyo chakula hawakukula hawakukunywa hata maji hawakufanya chochote vile walipulisa tu hivi hata hawakuongea na hivyo ndio walitoka wakiendanga after one week one week mwanamke alikuwa ametoa nguo zote ako juu ya mabati ya nyumba amesha kuwa wazimu akashikwa huko sasa unajua ako kwa kina bwana sasa akashikwa na watu wa kina bwana wakamfunga wakatumana kwao watu wa kwao wakakuja wakajaribu hospitali wakajaribu what kumbe the, this thing they are doing to her they want to sacrifice her because 
orende ule alitoa siri ali, alishapewa siri for three yeah. days amekuwa akiambiwa yeah. what happened yeah. the funny part and the part i fear most up to today nelson is this one huyo mwanamke walikuwa wamenunua plot hapo juja na wakaanza kujenga but okay, funny enough funny enough when this woman came out of that condition kwa sababu alitoma mpaka nyumba so ametoma id ametoma kila kitu everything ya bank ya bwana ametoma up to today na walikuwa wameanza kujenga na yeye alikuwa anasimamia hiyo mjengo hajui the site walikuwa na pesa kama ghasia hajui account hata moja leo hii pesa zilipotelea hivyo kwa bank mataito zilipotelea hivyo hakuna shamba hata moja anakumbukanga location Uya mwanamke tulirudi kuchangia tena ndio sasa aanze atoke ushago akute aanze a fresh Nairobi ndio sasa aone vile atalea watoto but her life was a mess Jesus Christ Those people they are cunning and those people wengi wao wameingia kwa kanisa Ooh. These people when Giwa Nelson wameingia kwa kanisa because they are waiting people they have waited for people to go there hawaendi Sasa wamejua watu wa, wa, watu watu wako kwa kanisa now they have wameoga wamechukua bibilia wameingia ndani ya church Doing miracles there Unasikia mtu ni 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 ni, ni, ni unasikia pasta ni pasta mkubwa na unasikia ako na mtoto pale ako na mtoto pale ako na mtoto pale na anafanya miracles miracle with which god miracle na mungu gani huyo wa usherati mm, 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 mungu gani wa usherati huyo mwenye anafanya miracles nayo wapo hivi wapo hivi wapo hivi can i can i can i try and say something yeah you can say i hear I want to hear. And the host, and the host uh, do you have a Bible near you? Ah, do you have I a Bible? One. I want you to read this scripture. It is very, very strong and it attestifies for what Mudoni is saying. I think it will help so many get. Matthew chapter 7, verse 21 to 23. I want you to read it to everyone who's listening. Um let the bible open. You say Matthew what? Matthew Matthew, what? Matthew 7 Matthew verse 21. What? Matthew, Matthew chapter, chapter 7 7 Chapter 7 Eh uh -huh. verse 21 to 23. 21 to 20. NIV nasema not everyone who says to me lord lord will enter oh. the kingdom of heaven but okay. only he who does the will of my father who is in heaven many will say to me on that day lord lord did did we not prophesy in your name and in your name drive out demons and perform many miracles mm. amen you have summarized everything then so I, and, actually, and, actually, and, actually, and actually the closet says then i will tell them plainly i never knew you away from me yes. you evil yes people. so 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 you see now now the question goes here where were those people they were in churches these people yes. were in churches they were doing all these things inside the church they were performing miracles they were doing all these powerful acts they were prophesying they were telling you your future but now the question is which power were they using the devil's power because god himself is saying i did i never knew you i never meaning even from the start God was not with them. Yes. So going to so get the actually, point. Let's go back. Even from the, the God the, was not the, there. The story by Watoidi is very interesting for me and uh, and for us who are watching. People are stuck here. People are people are actually shocked. What do I Shanga Ukuchini and I know that. And even me, like I'm saying, this is actually, you know, I learn everything new every day, and that's why I'm always here with my pen and my notepad. 
There is something we've already said at the beginning. The genesis of this guy's problem was accepting a 50,000 shilling loan. From yes! A yes. A very senior, a very known gospel musician. And an uncle, some and people uncle. you trust. So there was a people family you member. trust. And this innocent guy, all he did was like, hey, I take. Okay, upon the to come out, you Vicky Mesema, Mimi Pastor Wangu ni Mungu Wangu. Yes, that's right. Yes. So let's so, 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 Nelson, 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 mm. let, let me add something. Kwa huyo yeah. mwenye amesema hivyo. Yeah. Let me Nini wakati Yesu alikuwa hapa, alikuwa na na, na apostles 10 na wawili. Alikuwa na eh, na uh, those disciples we can call them the first believers. The first believers, they were 12. Na wakati wa Yesu ulipofika wakuenda, Jesus never trusted anyone. Never trust. God never trusted. Because one thing you should know how, how, how God was working, God was working direct with the Jesus and then mm. Jesus was working with the people. Mm. God was communicating with Jesus and Jesus was communicating what God has the Father has communicated to him to mm. the audience. Now, when Jesus was going, Aliwambia nini? Musiondoke Jerusalem. Mpaka ni watumie Either I had the promise that the Father promised. Mm. That is the Holy Spirit. What mm. is the work of the Holy Spirit? The work of the Holy Spirit is to comfort, like now, Jen. Jen, it is the Holy Spirit who should be comforting you. Mm. The work of the mm. Holy Spirit.